Webflow just rolled out their AI website builder and we have also that same thing for, from Framer. So if I go to Framer website and then Framer has this ability to build with AI as well. So we can start with AI. Basically any major website developer platform now allows you to create website without using designing or coding skills. Even Figma has this ability to build websites without code. So you don't even need to be a designer right now to design beautiful interfaces. So let's just say, build a website for AI no coding platform that builds websites using just prompts. But you see the only version here, here available is Claude 3.7. Lovable has 4.0. So I think Lovable is way better in this terms because they're actually making money out of this no AI, no code AI thing. And Figma is just trying to go there. But I think it's almost there, it's nearly there. In a few months, we will have very beautiful website designs and not just websites, but also a no-code tool platform that will build beautiful websites. So this is just, for example, the chess training platform that I tried to, before doing this video to create, just to design, and it's actually not looking bad. I would spend like, for a wireframe, it doesn't look bad. I would spend like more time in the past to build beautiful wireframes just to show to the client. But now I can actually just use AI to build that out in a matter of seconds and have something to show to the client while I work on the design itself. So yeah, definitely if you wanna be ahead, you, you should try to use these AI tools. But let's see what it creates. If you want to have access to my no-code platform that you can build website just using prompts, you can sign up to the waitlist to join the waitlist and the first 100 users will get to try the platform for free. So make sure to sign up and be the first users to try when it comes out. But yeah, let's go back to our Figma file and see what created. It's still creating. It has a list of sections that it wanted to do. So here is the minimalistic result that it created. Again, it looks great as a wireframe. It has all the section, it has all the interactions. And if you wanted to just put like a three pages document with all of the sections that client outlined and all of the text that client provided, you would get literally everything that they want to have on a website in a matter of minutes with all of the sections wireframe. But really one of the best and craziest feature about Figma is that literally you can copy any website template that you have in Figma among thousands that you can find in community, Figma community. You can then open Figma sites so basically it's a new feature in Figma that you have the ability to create these beautiful sites and you can just literally paste the Figma template in here. And then let's say you wanna fill the container or just make it longer for now for the demonstrative purposes. For example, I have the client or the website client asked me to create is for a Christian church. So I uh, will click rewrite this and website for Christian church. And you could literally pay it in paste anything in there and it will rewrite all the content on the website to be something that I specifically input. It will rewrite every single image even on this picture so you can see that even this has been rewritten. All the images in here have been rewritten. Just like this you can click publish. So once I click on this there is a button share or well, not share we can click like this and then click here. Where is the publish button? Oh yeah, publish, we can click publish. And uh, just like that, we have a website with our content, with our images, with our graphics in seconds with Figma. Let's get back to Lovable and create a really beautiful website. So at the back end, I will be connecting to make.com to make sure that we have AI automation set up to bring the most value to our clients, to our websites that we're building because Building beautiful websites today is not enough. There is literally thousands and thousands of free templates that you can be using. So if you go to Framer templates, you can see that there's a lot of beautiful templates out there and anybody can set them up and anybody can start using them for free. There's a lot of free templates that you can use. So you have to learn how to use those AI tools today to build something that users would want to be using. Also, you want to use tools like Recraft to build beautiful images for your website. 
Recraft allows you to build images in the same style for a website. For example, you have a set of images. There is a function to create sets of images and you can build the same in beautiful uh, styles. And this is free, by the way. I'm not sponsored by them. Don't have any affiliations with them. I don't even have subscription on this website. But yeah, I will be showing you tools like this today in this video. And uh, if you want to learn more about building beautiful websites with AI, then um, yeah, you're in the right place. So we'll start with just building this with Lovable. So let's say build a website in dark colors for AI website builder that builds websites just by typing a prompt. This is actually the pro project that I'm working on. Uh, so I'm just cur curious to see what it will be able to come up with and then start working on it, start uh, customizing it and making sure that it's the one that I want. So this is the first result that it created and just wanted to say that it is not final product. It is way beyond too basic to actually put it on your website as a end website or put it on your business to represent you. It is way too basic. So what we're going to be doing here is taking this as a wireframe, as a layout and going to website like Dribbble or any other website inspiration uh, galleries just to look for some websites and then build another website based on those uh, inspirations and based on the structure that we've generated here. Because when you tell the AI to build the whole website all at once, the result is not usually great because it is going to create a lot of styles, a lot of colors, it is going to write a lot of text. And if you want it to create accepting a good result, you have to tell it to build section by section. So we're not going to say build a whole website with uh, for this company. We're going to say create a hero section for this company. But first we will need to find beautiful hero examples that we like. So for this I'm going to go to Dribble, And there are a few things that you need to click on Dribble to find the best result. The first I'm going to click popular here. And make sure that the filters is set to time frame this past month. We're not going to see or we're not want to look for the results that have been the best in the last day because those are not usually that great. We're going to se select the, the past month or even the past year if you want to find like the best of the best results. And here you hear you have a lot of different inspiration for a platform if you're building some kind of SaaS platform or dashboard instead of just a website. You have a lot of different styles of websites, not necessarily tech. You have a lot of beautiful yoga sites and there's just different styles that you will see on Dribble and um, but for us, we're going to use some textile website. So I really like this type of design. And believe it or not, Lovable can actually create animations. It can create different interactions. So we're going to be using this as our example. Let's just take a screenshot of the hero section here at the top. Once I go here, I want to prepare to take a screenshot really fast. Once I have it, I can go to Figma. And I can paste this screenshot in here so I just can cut it and make sure that it's the way that I want it to be. Let's go back to Webflow. And as I've said before, we're going to create another uh, project. So let's go to Lovable from Safari browser. And we're going to say build a hero section, a hero section for a website AI powered building platform. Pla Form that allows users to create beautiful websites just by typing a prompt. And the main thing is to mention now that we want that we're going to focus only on the top of the fold, only on the hero section, so it doesn't spend its brain energy on building on writing content for the rest of the pages. Focus only on hero section for now. Don't build any other section. We want to make here. Oh, we don't need to specify that, that we want to make here as beautiful as possible. But what we need to do is give it a screenshot of this. And I'm going to actually hide some of the elements so it doesn't spend like that brain energy on this. Like, let's take a screenshot of this and send build a style to similar similar to the image provided with a large headline of max two four words 
and then other content. Content that you think is necessary for your section. And let's just upload that picture and see what it does. And here is the result that it got. Uh, I think it's much better than the previous result because we were initially saying that we want you to focus specifically on the homepage instead of building all of the other sections. So that way it can it could have focused more on creating beautiful website. Obviously, I like that we have here generate website prompt and uh, this thing would be uh, much better but for from design perspective i think this is much more clear so the next step would be actually to build the rest of the sections clarify what you wanted to do so let's say now build the rest of the section that you think is necessary for this site change calls to action sign up for the wait list and have the input for email at the bottom of the page to sign up and yeah so this is what it created and yeah obviously if you wanted to get much more out of this you would ask it to create section by section but to save more time let's just keep it like this because i wanted to show you how to make sure that this website is actually using all the ai potential that we can connect it to actually open ai api so it can have the context and once you submit the form the users will get an email with their name and some additional information that might be useful for them just by typing an email. And the way it will work, user will submit the email and AI, which is OpenAI's API, will get to get their name out of the email because most of the email actually consists of a name and then send a personalized email for that. Obviously, some emails will not have them, their name and we can drop that, but for most cases, they do. So let's go to make. I'm going to sign up with my account. So once in make, I will click create a new scenario. And here, basically, the only thing that I will have to click first is this webhook section and custom webhook. Let me make sure that I've selected the correct module. So I'll delete this. Webhooks, custom webhooks triggers when webhook receives data. This is what we need. And in Lovable, we actually need to say send the email info to this webhook so basically the info the email that someone submits will be sent to this webhook so what we need to do is quick create webhook click save and just copy this uh, code and send it to lovable so whenever someone clicks sign up for the waitlist the, the the email will be sent to this webhook and then we can do whatever we want with this email now is the most interesting part. We will be actually integrating AI to this website. So there are many ways to do this. You can use free ways like Gemini. I will be using OpenAI API because I already installed that. So I'm going to select create a completion. And basically in any AI, you will do that. And then what you have to do is click uh, select method this. For the model, I'm just going to be using random one because even the cheapest can extract an email out of their name. But let's do for the demonstrative purposes, uh, for example, GPT 4.1 mini. And for the prompt itself, we're going to use a very simple prompt that will just tell the AI to take the email and extract that from their username. So here is the prompt. We're going to say extract name from this email if you can. Sometimes the email doesn't have any indication or name mentioned, but often the email has name like Victor Odini, this is my Gmail. Here, Victor is the name, etc. When giving answers, write only names as your response and nothing else. Here is the email, answer in JSON. So, and here I will just include, uh, here, let's run this webhook once, so click because we need to actually receive this email. So run this module only. And let's enter our email here and click sign up for the waitlist. So now if I go to webhook here, I can see that the email has been received. I can click on this and go back to the settings and just input that response there. Oh, I didn't save. Uh, let's do GPT.1 mini instead. 
And here we will say the value. So here we have the email value. Let's click save. And after that, let's actually draft an email. So I'm going to create email here, email, uh, create a draft, or we can send an email. I don't want to send it, so I'll just create a draft. So let's do that. The subject will be, for now, let's just say, hey, thanks for, thanks for sign up. The content will be just a plain text. And let's say, hey, and here we can actually put the name. So let's run this thing once. Let's put the email here. So we'll have this. And now we have the response. So we can go to subject. Thanks. The content will be plain text again. And here we can actually select the name. So the name is Victor. So, but first we would need to make sure that it parses it as JSON, JSON file. And for this, I'll click one more time on this and then we'll go to show advanced settings, click JSON and then parse. Yes, and we click this. And then let's just run this module one more time, input the same email. Basically, it functions as the same function as I would submit an email, but to save some time, I just put it in there. But it basically has the same logic. And so here we can click result, and here we have the name. So once I click the name, I can just drag it in here. So we'll say, hey, thanks for signing up. Obviously, we can customize it as, as we want. But now I just can click save and let's choose folder. Let's choose drafts. And let's actually click save. And let's click run once and go and check our email. Let's refresh the page here and go to the bottom of the page. You can just input our email, click sign up and see how it does here. So you see that the email has been instructed and the email has been set to a draft. So let's refresh the draft page here. And here we have, thanks Victor, thanks for signing up. So this is it for building beautiful websites with Lovable and actually then connecting them to the AI. Let me know if you'd like to get more videos like this and thank you for watching.